Du, 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 du. When will my pockets be full? Soon. getting there <laughs> still uh still got in what 23 to go I'm surprised we haven't had more northern attacks At some point, yeah. Circuit pooping out somewhere. Nope. The red ones? Yeah. No, I need this copper set up and then we will. Welcome back, TFG. I think the only copper line we need here is this one. How many people can the multiplayer handle? Uh, a lot. Tons. I've seen servers with 10 to 15 people on it. Um, it's less about how many people there are and how more about how much shit you guys build. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's just like the bigger the server gets, though, understand like... So this game works on a chunk rendering um, basis. So like pretty much all the chunks aren't... They're rendered, they're running, but they're like inactive, is I guess is what I would say. So like if we zoom in on the map, you can see how the chunk works. Like I'm in a chunk right here. So if I zoom in on my map, I can see everything in my chunk. Like right around me. And then same thing for Mata. I can zoom in on Mata. And that's everything that's active. Everything else on the map is like, you know, not completely active. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but like we can zoom in and see all that stuff. So the more you build, obviously the more power it's going to end up taking to keep things running. Um, fuck power pull. All right, we're gonna go right. Up. We're getting attacked again. Northern attack. That's done. We're definitely hitting those two bases up there a lot now. Why? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so these need to end up going like that. Right. Okay. So <laughs> you don't understand. Okay. Yeah. It's just that the game only renders around players, like fully renders everything that's going on around players. Everything else is being run in the program, in the background of the program. So if we have, so right now it's just rendering for two people, but if you have 15 people and there's like a giant factory, like instead of just this being completely used all the time, it's going to be like this whole area is completely on all the time. So it just takes more processing power to keep all of that running all the time. Pretty standard. The more people, more load. Um, I'd say probably the sweet spot is probably like four to six people. I feel like would be sweet spot. Yeah, we've played this with four people and never had a problem. Um, no, we do, we do, we we have complete interaction with each other. Like I can drop things for him, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's just how the game like processes things. I don't know if you've ever seen how Minecraft works, but Minecraft runs on chunk loading, so the world is technically infinite but only the area that's being utilized by the player is being rendered. So it, it's to reduce server load. Why aren't these doing their thing? Yeah. Huh? Why aren't, oh. <sighs> These are ghosties still. <laughs> Kek. Why aren't you doing your thing? Oh, you don't actually exist. Oh, it doesn't actually exist. It's just a blueprint. <laughs> okay, so now... So essentially is what I'm doing... So in this game, you have like a research tree, a huge research tree. So if we go towards the end, like the atomic bomb, it, this is like super end game. We need 5,000 of each of these research vials. So it's 30,000 vials, but each vial, so red, green, military, blue, purple, yellow. Um, so we have the red production chain to make these red ones. You have to take two, um, you have to take one copper and one iron gear. So the name of the game is this assembly machine takes an iron and a copper gear and combines them into a, a red science pack. 
So on this line here, we have copper and um, gears. If we come down here, this guy makes takes one iron and turns it into gears. It will then take the iron from here, put it in here, make the gear, come out, go onto this track, and then these guys will pick up the gears and the copper, put them in here, produce it, and then put it on this track. And then these red science packs go on this track, come under here, they go underground right here, and when they pop up, uh, these arms, well, this arm right here, takes it and puts it inside here. And then these will use it for research. These are our research labs. So we basically have a big chain of research labs that are fed by these tracks. So if you look real close right here, we have red and green on this track. We're going to have blue and gray on this track. Um, that will feed all of these. And then these use this research over time to research all of these little things we need. That's kind of what we're working on now. The early game is pretty much just producing the things you need for research to unlock other things to build. And as the packs go, they get more advanced. So this green one now takes a transport belt and an inserter. So on this line, we have this transport belt needs one iron plate and one gear to make a, to make two transport belts. So we have iron plates going in here, and then we have iron plates going in here, turned into gears, and then they hop here. And then they come out and get put on this track. And then over here, we have this, this guy is supposed to make inserters. Um, but we don't have electronic circuits hooked up to it. So this is kind of like a broken chain right here. Uh, but this is going to move and be utilized a little differently here soon. Um... I'm probably going to take these machines and drop them down here and route things up to them. So we'll kind of have to work on this. Um, And these little shadows, they're all blueprints um, that I've made to make sure that everything fits right and kind of test things out without without having to build everything out. And then take, pick it up, take it down, pick it out, take you know. Okay. I got a decent amount of steel production going too. Yeah. Yeah, I like I guess um it's all automa automation. It's all automation. Um it's it's funny you say that. I've actually heard a lot of people kind of talk about the graphics of this game when it came out on 1.0. I was kind of in a Twitter thread the other day where this guy was like, "Oh, it sucks that it took so long for this to come out." over eight years because the graphics are just too far behind and Satisfactory is just a better version of this game. I've played Satisfactory. I honestly don't think it does what Factorio does better. I don't think it does. I think Factorio is more fun for the genre. The way that the top down works, I think it just feels better. It's easier to view everything and manage everything. I think it just, I don't know. I prefer this and honestly. But it's funny. It's funny. A lot of people have been talking about the graphics. Yeah, they're the. You would think they're like the same kind of game, but Satisfactory is completely different. Really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to approach the game completely differently. Yeah, if if Oxygen Not Included was multiplayer, 
it would be it would be in that running for perfect games kind of thing like the perfect game of its genre like the colony sim and i think the same thing can be said for room world as well um that like if a room world had multiplayer i think it would be in that talk for like it already is, in my opinion. It already is in the talk for, you know, the best, like, colony management. Yeah, but not officially supported multiplayer. That's what I'm saying. Like, multiplayer mod for RimWorld doesn't it break, a, like, a million things? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if it breaks anything. Even if it doesn't, even if it works perfectly, it's like... I don't know. It makes it to where the the designer, like the dev is not thinking about the game to add components that are multiplayer. So it's like when you have modded multiplayer, like yes it works, but at the same time like the elements of the game aren't designed for it. And then to break break this chain down, it's not done yet, but we have two of the three components done. So the blue science packs require, oh god, require sulfur, advanced circuits, and engines. Uh, the sulfur we're getting from way down here. Um, the sulfur actually starts way down here as oil comes up this pipeline way out here and ends up here in these refineries and then this oil gets broken down into petroleum which then goes into these chemical plants uh, which takes petroleum and this coal here in and outputs the plastic and then uh the petroleum also goes here with petroleum and water and coal, I believe. Is it petroleum, water, and coal? No, just petroleum and water uh, to make sulfur. And then the sulfur is outputted here, um, which comes onto this line, uh, which ends up coming down and splitting a couple of times. And then the sulfur comes up this line and is utilized here. The plastic ends up continuing down this line. The plastic ends up continuing down this line down here. Comes up and around. And then we have copper and iron. Copper comes here. Gets turned into copper wire. Which then gets split to feed copper to these green um, circuits which the green circuits take copper and this iron that's routed in to produce green circuits. The other half of the copper wire comes up and around in here, and then plastic copper wire and these green circuits go in here to produce red circuits.
Uh, we might have to put red belts here. There is a display. Yep. So... This is production overlay um, that shows how much we're producing per minute and how much is being utilized per minute. Um, but as far as like how much we have overall of everything, I don't think so, actually. Not without uh, computing process. Um, there are... Where are they? Oh, we might not have them researched yet. These guys. So these right here, these constant combinators, um, can tell you um, how much is currently stored in a location or in an area. Okay. Do you want me to start stockpiling red circuits a little bit, Mike? If you can. Okay. Because I, 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 I don't have engine. I just don't have, I don't have the engines done. Um, so in the meantime, I will have the output of these red circuits into a chest up here just to store them so it yeah. keeps producing. I'm going to start working on some military stuff and go take out those nuts. Okay. So now we have these level two tracks, which uh, move quite a bit faster. 30 items per second over 15 items per second. So twice as fast. Um, ooh. Uh, let's take that off. We'll put these down here. Okay. So we need to go ahead and let those finish. There we go. Okay, so putting these fast tracks on have kind of stacked this up. Um, So do you say you are mid-game or late-game? Uh, I think we're still, like, 
We're either in the the later stage of the early game or just beginning the mid game, I would say. Yeah. So kind of like just getting into mid game. Yeah, this is only our second day, so. Oh no, don't want to do that. Is like how much content there actually would be. There's a lot. <laughs> Tons of content. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do. Hmm. Not really. Um. We're on... Let's see. There's six research things, and we're just now getting the thing set up for the third one. So I guess if we go by what research type we're making, we're just starting the mid game. Because it'd be about two researches. So green and red are the early game. Mid game would be blue and military. And then late game would be yellow and purple. Um, but then even once you have those researches done, they're still... Yeah, we're making the blue vials. Uh, we're making the blue ones here. And then we have to do blue and military. So we'll, we're working on three and four. And there's six total. And then we have to make 5,000 of them for this research. Like, so that's going to take quite a long time. And 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 1,000, 2,000. So... still tons and tons and tons to do and we're going to have to worry about the eventual draining of our resource nodes here like we're down to 1.7 million iron under a million yep. copper what did we start with i don't remember uh just over three i think on the iron so we're about halfway through our iron deposit okay given we have a 20 mil iron up here so it's like and then a 20 mil copper, a yeah. 20 mil coal, all right here. So, we have the resources nearby. We just got to get trains and stuff set up. All right, so red circuits are full swing. Wait, the car has a machine gun? Yes. Yep, you can drive in circles with the machine gun and kill the things. It's faster than the little dudes, though. I've got to fix green. And finish blue. So we need engines to get blue going again. Do we have any researches left that are just red and green? 